Good afternoon and welcome to, well, it's not a full edition of the full 80, it's actually a player's focus. It's a bit of what the people have been asking for. Um, we did a few last week, we've had Ryan Braley on, Ben George Bishop, I think Luke Gale, and now uh, two of the favourite showmies, two of the showmies favourites, young Owen Trout. I say young now, Owen, about what, 20, 23, no. 23 is that Owen now? And uh, the polar bear himself, <laughs> <laughs> Matty English, who, by the way, just for a quick one, first seen Matty play. 16, 15 year old, I think, or 16 with Morgan Smith. Smith. And they were Stanley playing Davis. for the Wakefield Amit, which were on. Stanley Rangers. And one of the best amateur sides in the country. Charlie yeah. played for them as well. Yeah. Both Two Stanley boys. Down, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Both Stanley, Stanley boys, yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Clearly didn't spot you back there. Yeah, yeah. 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 might have been, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and Mr. Jimmy, we're going to uh, crack on and get to know the boys first of all. And people who are listening, it'll give you a good idea. Uh, you first, Owen. You come from a family of rugby, I'm sure, because your brothers. Yeah, so my eldest brother, he played, um, he's played Super League in the Keithley at the minute. Um, and then I've had a, another brother as well. Um, he only played academy, but he's, he played all throughout his life as well. So, yeah, I literally was born as soon as I popped out, got a big rib off straight away and then never looked back since. And, and by the way, because we have Kyle and then your other brother who is Reese. Reese, yeah. They're all as big as you, aren't they? Well, yeah. Kyle's not quite, is he? But Reese for you, isn't he? Yeah, Reese is about the same height as me, so about like six three, six four. But he's yeah, he's probably got another couple of inches on me either side of the shoulders. So yeah, he's, he's You're got like a baby, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a baby. <laughs> and you've it was age you started playing? Uh, so I, I think I went down at Stanley when I was about four years old. Um, I can remember doing emerging age. Probably should take a bat with Matty when he was younger as well, and then um, back in the day. Never looked back since, really. Um, yeah, played you know, Stanley throughout my career, obviously. Signed a um, scholarship, um, did a year at Castleford, then did a year at Leeds, and then did all my academy, and then on my debut for Leeds, and then obviously was part of the swap deal with Cruz. Brilliant. Don't be taking the sugar on yet, Trout, if someone want to just give that Cruz deal a bit of toffee in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Matty, give us yours. Um, yeah. Obviously, my dad used to play back in the day, but he was more rugby union, rugby league type thing. And then, it was funny, and new neighbours moved in when I was about five or six, and their dad was the local coach down at Stanley. And they used to play on field near us and get, and I went, Mum, can I try rugby? And she went to my dad, well, you, you can take him if you want. And he went, no, nah, I'm stepping back. If he wants to get into rugby, I want him to find it on his own. So my mum took it for the first month or so. And uh, so I went along with him, and I was playing like two years above myself, and I was like, six playing like eight year olds absolutely loved it absolutely just wanted to do it all the time and then um, yes played emerging eights at Stanley and then played the year above myself till I was about 14 and I lost the national cup final by two points Jordan Lilly kicked it um, yeah, a little bit of memory about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, Paul Lord the coach of the of my age he went I'll, I'll get you a winner's medal one day if you come join us so I jumped down to my own age and then on 16s, we won it 1 0. Morgan Smith got the goal. I definitely went there. I yeah, you were, that, yeah, you were there yeah, that day. Yeah. Was, By the way, you mentioned that coach, because there's a massive crowd there, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, massive. Is, is he, his name comes up a lot. Is he like a super coach? Oh, he knows everything about the game. He's, yeah. He gets revered everywhere, doesn't he? Unbelievable, is Paul. Knows is everything it? about rugby, yeah. Why is he never. Why is he never. Taking it on. Um, he was the next player, obviously, played at Oldham and stuff back in the day. And, I think he just obviously coached his son George. He's my uh, coached his team, and then that was enough for him. That was it. He came and helped out uh, my age group as well after Did the sixteens. He obviously because they had such a good team. I think it's only ninety percent of the team um, signed on and stuff like that. So he, he became good mates with my dad. Obviously, he's my coach. So then they both he was under fifteens and sixteens. He, he, he helped out there. Yeah. He was as successful as these. Um, we were all right. We did. We weren't as successful. But we, did, <laughs> we did all right. We did it. We did it. We took show me on tour. Actually, I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember this. You'd have been. You might have been. We went back to Stanley, and we did a. I think it was Stanley. We did a thing, and the, the young lads come. I think we might have even took Morgan. Uh, yeah. I can remember. You would have been last year or something. Wouldn't yeah. You um, I didn't do it, but I, I can remember it going on because my mum was uh, like the secretary at the time, so she had. So yeah, we organised it. We came. And we didn't. We brought two or three players in, and I sat in front of them and said, "Look, you know, I do want to be a player." And do you relate to 
these players, and they were brilliant. I, I really, I loved it because they organised. We went to about fifteen clubs. Quite funny, actually, one of the clubs we took. Uh, don't slaughter me for this, but Adam Milner, and we walked in and said, you know, <laughs> they were like, no one knew him. <laughs> he, <was> just like, <laughs> he played here for a year. They were like, yeah, no, no clue. They were like, Jack Walker didn't get that much. Jack got a beat. I took back back to Alton, yeah. and they were like, when he played in grand final, they were like, yeah, yeah. So I hope we don't lose that because you've got. Am I right in saying, lads? When you're watching it as a spectacle, you all had your heroes. You know, have you, yeah, what made you want to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I feel like. It. Like you were saying, like you get the clubs to come down and and see each other, and especially I feel like as a young kid, if you see a person who's playing Super League week in week out, and then you realise, oh, hang on a minute, he played for the same club as I play for, that dream isn't as far as you you can think it really. So that could help the stepping stones take place, people to want to start working harder to try and push for that Super to League, inspire the next generation. Eh? Yeah. Well, Jack, Jack, we're literally two years away from there. What's that? So I says to one kid. He was 15 playing here, and he's 17 and out. I thought, uh, it was like, no, no, that's how near you yeah, could yeah. be yeah. to making this happen. I came and went to one, uh, I think they went to a right successful one, and they had the Burton twins, you know, yeah. play for Bradford. Yeah, I don't, you know. yeah, I can't remember the club, but they, they were brilliant. They were run as well as any academy. Like they come out, we got joined in tag game, and it was like brilliant. We had a fact, <laughs> you know, I wish to do it. I wish the rugby league would have took it. I tried to do it, say mm. to rugby league, that's what we've done. Yeah. It cost me two thousand hours, whatever, and all my money. You know, we, we bought oh, merchandise. Sure, yeah, 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 we yeah. did it all. But I wanted to say, go and do it. Go to every club. Yeah, we went to some clubs. And they had like six players, and I said, "Why have you got six players?" And I was standing there to call our players, all to to call our players, and all the best players have left us. Yeah. And I were like, "Oh, I felt I was like, what can we do? Twelve? Well, can we go to your local school?" They're like, "Yeah, but." And it were a very defeatist. They were it the same in your day. Were certain clubs strong, and then you had a yeah, hundred percent. There was some like super teams like. Paul got players from everywhere to come train, uh, come train playing for us, and then you'd come to some teams and they'd turn up with eleven men and you'd batter them. <laughs> it was sad, really. What yeah. are you? How many out of have you got scholarship? About nine. Nineteen of us. Oh, that's record. This, it's got to be record. So is this? I'm trying Rangers. to think. Of age group. Give, give, Under reel 16s. off a few more names. Morgan Smith, Colin Lewis Exford. Lewis Exford. Lewis, yeah. George Lord, Jordan Kershaw. Harry Boys, right? Oh, mad. Mm. But I mean, it's, it's been repeated at other clubs as well, hasn't it? That uh, we look at the uh, Halifax. Oh, the Siddles. Well. I don't Siddles. think Siddles. there's many. Where, what are like, What were different about theirs? What well, nineteens are ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. What were different about theirs? I thought. Well, it won't be not saying a fashionable club. It won't a Siddle or a Stanley. It was Stanley yeah. Rangers. Yeah. And when people come in to see Morgan play, open from scouts from on because I was on it. <laughs> they were coming from everywhere. Yeah. And they couldn't believe it. They're like, I can't believe Ray's coming and he's like texting me going, mate, that, I can't believe it. I was standing the bottom. He won't, he would crack us in. He's really non stop. <laughs> they were, he, he yeah. won't. They were that well run, drilled. Yeah, good. Morgan, I mean, Morgan at 16 won. You Full thought he was the best player in the world, honestly, yeah, with yeah. that good one. He, I couldn't remember just getting ball and being able to change a game any second he wanted. Yeah. It could beat three. It was like, is he running faster than everybody else? And he, like a little bull, wasn't he? His head would be good. I'm excited else. to see how he goes at Wakefield, mate. Really, yeah. really glad to see him back in Super League. I think he'll go class. I do. And I, we've yeah. said this, haven't we? We've, we've said it that he is on the verge of doing something special. And everyone will go, oh, yeah, that's that. He was always that player. Yeah, he him. was. He just didn't go right. That was the. Took us back, really. And then in London, he got his name back. And then he broke his ACL at York. Yeah. Wakefield might get the benefits of someone who you think. Le- Leeds were very close. Yeah. Leeds, we were that far off going back to Leeds, and it went like that. This is this is going to be a brilliant pot script, but, but I can't remember watching it. And when that final came on, I swear, I think there were about eight scouts. Like it were funny because remember in the old days, the scouts would wear the coats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So these are yeah, all and they were all there. Yeah, they were all, yeah, were unbelievable. What yeah, it yeah, like? Yeah. I can't be looking and going. Brazy goes, oh, keep quiet. Leeds are here, and then Leeds goes, oh, yeah, only spilled the beer. But everybody were out pitching. Were like, hey. Well, I think he, I'll be honest, I even think Bastian, but he's, I can't remember seeing Big John making his way off. I think there's he, always that one parent that goes stand right in the middle of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do all that, all that. And so you did two years younger, but had a great experience at Stanley. Yeah, um, uh, like I say, Matt, I had um, a lad called Richard Smith. He was my coach when I was younger. Um, yeah, I paid a Richard, yeah, thank you. And then um, uh, after that, he kind of didn't want to want to coach anymore, and then he kind of fizzled out, and his son moved from 
bedroom. So then my dad took over. It was only like a temporary thing. It was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll help out. Um, out, yeah, saying, yeah. It? and then five years later, still there, <laughs> still there. When I was sixteen, and became chairman at the club and stuff like that, yeah, he got really involved with it. What's first speech, Dad? Did he slip from our, our, our captains? Are, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I can, I can always remember. Um, we were playing against Ulton once, and um, I'd always bring my big boom box, and we'd all start listening to music and stuff like that, just having a laugh. And he came in, and he was like, "What are you all doing? Like, you should be getting ready for a game, like." I need to be giving you my team talk. And I just said jokingly, I was like, oh, you don't need to just tell us to go out there, have a good crack, and we'll be all right. So he was like, all right, have a good crack, lads. So yeah. And then we ended up smoking, Alton. Um, yeah, so I think he kind of was like, oh, I'll just leave him to it. Because we had some good players and stuff, and obviously, I think there were about eight and nine who was around scholarship. So we, we coached ourselves type thing, which was, I feel like it was a good experience like for players, like bringing the development and the growth out of us Massive, as well. Massive, innit? Yeah, they did one the other day at OKR, I think they did a training exercise where they, they went to training, they didn't turn up, the coaches, and just left, and just left it with like a voice box saying, right lads, we're not coming and it's up to you. And they said they had one of the best sessions. Yeah, because, it was player led. Yeah, player led it and they reckon they're watching it, they got the footage and they were like, wow. So it was like, can you? I suppose it's in a game. If coach is not there, how do you win that game? And then yeah, you go yeah, right. Yeah, we know yeah. exactly what to do at all times. Uh, I watched the American football last night with Joe. They were on about it there. How the quarterback there gets management coaching nonstop. Like so, every minute of that game, he'll know if he's in front, if he's behind. He'll know exactly what to do because he's got this coach first. Last said we wouldn't yeah, afford that. It would yeah, be like yeah. a, a personal. But I thought, what a great idea! Like the half back and say right. As long as you play this system, we, we win this game. As long as you don't go off that kick chase. You know what I mean? We're yeah, six yeah, in yeah, front. Yeah. I don't know how much our, our, we get that our lead, but let's take it from 16. Yep. Leeds. Yeah, so... Who um, came for you? Who, who's the... Give them a plug. Um, so, as far as I know, it was Simon Bell wanted to sign he me. He can't give him a plug. To anyone. Um, uh, he, he was the one who would, like, uh, sign me from the um, scholarship to the academy, but... As far as I know, it was Steve Fox who came Fox, in for yeah. Fox. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's, he's yeah, a he's very nice. Still, now, yeah. still see him. Um, but yeah, he was the one that wanted to get me down. Um, uh, and then, yeah, just carried on playing Academy and I was lucky enough to get a first team contract and make my debut. Um, I think I played three senior games there. So it was good for me. Um, and then obviously, uh, the next chapter was Huddersfield. Yeah, don't put the yeah. sauce on your so <laughs> We we uh, I'll take you back there because I can remember watching your academy and at that time you're a, you're a big back rower. Yeah. A lovely player of hands, AST Fold ID and I'm like, he's got great hands. You looked I don't know how big you were, but you were big. You were definitely big. I was yeah, I was I think I'd have been about six two, six three at like yeah, that's, seven, <laughs> that's the thing, and then you when I seen you get picked for the England, which is the test series, we yeah. talked about it then. I can remember talking to you pre there, you were like, oh, you were a bit disappointed in your first test match, weren't you? And then yeah. you killed it in that second one, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, um, like, a, like you say, I was a bit disappointed. Um, so I knew I needed to like take it up another level. Um, I, I was lucky enough to get the start in the second game, so I thought, well, let's, let's make my presence be known. I feel like I didn't. Mm. I thought I had a good game. Um, and it'll be one of them memories that I'll stick with me forever. Oh, like amazing. Both of them were amazing. I, I look back on that and I've watched probably 10, 12, I don't think yours now, because we got, did you play Aussies? Yeah, we went over though. You got milk, did you? Smoked, yeah. yeah, sorry, I didn't want to bring them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we As I was talking to you, I was looking and thinking, yeah. I can remember, <laughs> so your era would have been, mentioned the players at yours. <laughs> Who we were playing against? No, but for you. Oh, for us. Uh, Morgan again was there. Yeah. Uh, Lewis Heckford, Rob Faircuff, Josh Ganson, uh, Liam Paisley. Jess Little went. Jess, yeah, Jess, Jess came out to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Danny Walker was he there? Yeah, yeah. Danny Walker was a big star actually. Like, yeah, one yeah, of yeah. Well, Ganson's like got picked in front of. Yeah, he did. Everybody didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's just working out in Australia, playing part time. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. reason I know it, I can't forget. We we watched the second test and he were like. Like, oh, it, we're all going laugh. off, what it wrong. Yeah, and whereas yeah, yeah. these, I mean, I went to both games. Muzzy, when I, I can remember Muzz, like, not knowing who this kid is, and all of a sudden, 
this little kid's like checking on Aussie Park and he's like, no, I'm breaking. I'm like, <laughs> and then you, you know, you, you knew the names, you knew the Wellsbys, you knew the OE9, I knew obviously the ones we had. Yeah. The twins, the this, the that, and we were looking at all the areas, but then they were like, Muzzy, no one had heard of him. We were like, come from nowhere. And just killed him. Like, no, I'm, and he didn't even just wrap <laughs> yeah. it into him. But he was that strong. It must be we trying to work out from sideline how strong he was because they were planting him and he just kept getting back yeah. up and back up. And then the famous one is on the second one, Best who plays for Newcastle. Yeah, Bradman Best. He comes off and he's sick as a Blackpool donkey, honestly. And he looked over and they bashed him. And he did like, I think Harry Newman had got over him. Yeah. Harry had just like literally physicalled him. Well, he went on to be the star and all that. But I can remember him walking past us, minus three, you know, freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Fog on, thinking he must be thinking, <laughs> what the hell am I doing here? And as he said it, he looks behind him. This Morgan Smith has got one of them in headlock, you know what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> they just bullied, they bullied the Aussies from, beat you from, from the first minute, the out physical, the Aussies. It's the, I never seen a team do what you did, because the others, James Graham, see yeah, James, James were that far in front. He was literally one of the best players, Jammer, and uh, uh, the team they had. Danny Maguire famously, I think they drew. Dan scored, he scored about 15 tries, he would just win through them like they couldn't believe yeah. it. But you was, for me, as a team, yeah, I, I didn't know Harry Smith. Suddenly, Harry's looking like an Andrew Jones who were pinging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can remember we we just had a we just spoke to each other prior to the game. I can remember Adam Milner coming in because he was the last team England captain. Yeah, to, yeah. Um, uh, to to beat him, to, and it was just like we just got to take it to him type of thing. They're gonna come over with egos, but we just got to be we've got to match their egos type of thing. There's a reason why we're all here right now. So let's just take it to them, don't hold back. Let's make sure we're the third team to do it. And we did it. And I feel like we, we made sure they knew that we were, we was in for a game from the get-go in the first game. And then I feel like that just added on, added on in the second game. We had a massive... We did, I think this might be sad, this bit, but we did a an over thing of, of what, how many players from your team have met Super League appearance and how many. I don't know if you ever saw a show. We did it with the team you played against. Mm. They had more than us, so they've got more opportunity than us. Really? And I couldn't believe it. It was so sad that all that, like, our system didn't allow these to get more appearances up to that time than what they are. It's supposed to be so hard to get in NRL, it should be yeah, difficult. Yeah. They were opposite. They had, had, they had their opportunities, and they never even. The guy who never played against you, so who played the most, second most, was David Tafita. Brisbane Broncos was called, um, it's the biggest star over there. Yeah. Big massive back rower. Yeah, played in World Cup. David Feeter. Yeah. David Feeter was supposed to play in that yeah. team. Um, and because he debuted, they didn't yeah, bring him. Yeah, they had um, they have a ruling, don't they? So it's like if you played, you've either made your debut or if you've played three or five NRL games, you wasn't classed as the Aussie schoolboy. Um, so we played uh, first team. Yeah, if you demanded his on to the mark, it was like, uh, it was, we were quite sad. Smithies and it loads, and I think Wells, but. but Historically, there well, were a lot of ads in there. I think you remember, the I think yourself, it wasn't, we hadn't got there yet. You know, but those names, when we watched that game, I remember our time enough. going under talking, we, we bumped into Rob, didn't we, from mm. Leeds. And we, we were talking about all these lads and the exciting times, taking it to the, you know, to these Aussies that had been established. I can remember as well, because... Um, did like warm up games as well, so obviously we did the uh, like War of the Roses earlier on in the season. I went to both, and then before when the Aussies first came over, Yorkshire played against them. Right, Castle, yeah, Castleford, because um, we nearly, I think we were beating them at half time. <laughs> but Roman but, Mills and Mikey Lewis yeah. had them on toast. <laughs> but, um, we didn't even have like the full strength Yorkshire side out that we had in the first Correct. test. So um, I don't think any of the both the twins didn't play. No, um, I don't think Tom Allroyd played. I don't think. Some played either, okay. so obviously that's adding to the pack as well because that's how Ruiz made his. He got like the cut step up because Wilson was like said the Dorries told him that he was going to be making the squad, so he's going to be filling in for them. And he's just obviously like he took his opportunity and just did he? Ragged, did, yeah. he? <laughs> did you know what? I laugh at me when they say about good players, young and sometimes you might it might sound daft for this, but you might finish your career, you might be able. It didn't, that might be it. You know, it, you might have seven grand fans, you might. Sometimes they never, they never forget that for you lads, you know, 
winning yeah. a test series against Australia at that age as he did, I'm going to call it again. The publicity should have been, you don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Looking around for it, he should have been smashed everywhere. Yeah. We should have, I'd have had that. I'd have still been bragging about that now on the World Cup. I'd have still had banners going, we have a job, best of it. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I, we, there's a guy called uh, Jay Stembry who follows us on Twitter. And he says, don't let the Aussies downgrade what you've done by saying that they didn't have a strong academy team. They did. It was yeah. a stronger academy team. As was, and he absolutely nailed it. And he said, they'll try and use this, but you've beat them, you've hammered them. And I thought, we should have done it. We should have, I'd, have, I'd have put them around every, got them onto Challenge Cup. This is the side that beat the Aussies. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, grand yeah. final. You know, we just used oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. imagine Aussies what they yeah. hear. You and they just given me at every opportunity, every paper. I were arguing with some Aussies being going, What do you mean, mate? Can I kind of just smoke your best players with you? <laughs> I can remember um, before they came over, you had someone on the podcast. We did. And he was saying, Oh, that's it. He was saying, Oh, yeah, we've got this is the winger, he's, he's six foot five. Uh, I think it was Jason Saab. Um, he's, it, he's it, six five, six six. He'll, he'll, um, he'll tower over the, the twins. Because yeah. um, we had it the other way around when we were in Oz and they battered us, they were bragging about it. They would not let us forget it before we got on played. <laughs> everywhere you went, it, it got mentioned. Just goes, it everywhere it. you went, it got mentioned. I know, and it's that, that is again, it's so upsetting for me because, like I said, that would have been my shot to take it round everywhere. My best academy story, guys, is uh, John Bateman and, and, and Liam McAvoy. I just love it. I can tell it. I can tell it every time I come on. So. They've gone into the second. They had the right team, but they've got smoked. Ben Curry, Bateman, St- Stevie Ward. I don't know if Stevie went because he played for Leeds at that time. So they're the right side. Ryan Hampshire, George Williams. She, sorry, she were rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they got smoked. And they must have agreed that if it kicked off, it, there must have been some bullying. They said, right, if second one goes off, we're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bateman, who's probably streetwise, 15 years in front of all them, what has gone to Liam Bean, so he is. I'm saying this nice beans, funny lad beans, but wouldn't, wouldn't be quick on that job. He said, if it kicks off, what do I do, John? He goes, right, well, if something kicks off, you, just, you pick him, when you? <laughs> so beans go, yeah, yeah, John, yeah. So they must have gone into the pack, and I've seen the fight, it's hell of a Ben Curry actually throws some rake, it's, it's on. Bang, 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 bang. Beans has gone up, grab winger, and I swear, he's hit beans four times, he has not missed on one. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Look. Anyway, it, it must have been half an hour later, he's cut to death, he's got eye and he's gone, fucking hell, John. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking hell, John. You talk with your back wing and you get fast, <laughs> get fast hands and he goes, yeah, he won't, I'm in your boxing champ. It's sets him off. You know, shit, I'm in the second. Look, you're not even funny, that, John. <laughs> And I, and, and I actually watched the fight and I thought it was absolutely genius because I thought, imagine picking up Winger and he just gone dead and dead. So, move forward. Can I just ask one quick one linking into what you said there, Rowan? You know, before you played the Aussies, you had the Warber Roses. Yeah. And we do get, it's quite a big discussion, isn't it? Should we make more of the, the Warber Roses so we've got more representative? We're always distraught at how little publicity the Academy War the Roses get because yeah, yeah. it's one of my favourite games of the year. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're yeah. seeing, in theory, the cream of the crop that we've got to be watching, like you boys in the Super League in years to come. How important, and hopefully the answer is yes, was, was that in your preparation for then the next step representing England? You know, playing that representative level leading up to. Well, never did it. Was, was yeah. 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 well so, um, it was. I can't think of what it's it. So it was obviously you, you play at a different level, don't you? Yeah. So. It's, it's a stepping stone. So if we just went for a full year in academy, then we got told, right, lads, um, we're playing Aussies. We're going to warm up against them and then play. And it could have been a completely different story, really. Um, and then, obviously, when you get... You get um, I can't think of what to say. So then you obviously start building your team comms as well. So Ollie Wilson, I, I'd never played with him before. Obviously, I played with him... And then you start look, picking up on little things as well. And obviously, it helps in your career when you're going in Super League because you can remember them as well. You're like, oh, he likes doing this. He likes stepping up his left foot. So and then it helps you. And then when, obviously, you turn the circle and I end up playing with Ollie Wilson as well now, like I still remember what, what he was good at and what he, he wasn't so good at type of thing in the, in the academy days. Mm-hmm. So and then it just helps you build them relationships and takes it to another level in your career as well. And that, that preparation, you know, we, when we go back to the World Cup and we talk about 
are England as prepared as, as VRC is because the, the, other than the team games and the big the big grand final and Challenge Cup, they don't have that experience playing at that next level up. And, you know, like you said, they, that game at Edinburgh, if you'd been, or even the first test, you get caught a bit cold and reacting to this is faster, this is more intense. Yeah. You'd had a little bit of preparation for that. Yeah, yeah, like, like I say, it's just a stepping stone, so it just makes that transition a bit easier. easier. Yeah. It were even bigger for Ollie, because we, we, and I will remember this, I, I, I did push Ollie like you'd never seen to, I, I challenged Razy, and when we were picking at the time, might be, and then I think I think it was called Fordy, I can't remember coaching Fordy and Langers. Yeah, Fordy and Langers. But I think it was, I'd been challenging him, saying there's a kid here from Bradford, and I know he's, Call Bradford at that time might have been a second tier. Do you know what I mean? The one to think. And I said, yeah, but I like what he's doing. He's, he's, <clears throat> he seems to be getting better every time you watch him. Uh, I thought he'd, thought he'd gone toe to toe with anybody at that. Game. But I, we were challenging Ollie to do it, saying, look, he's in England side. You need to make sure you get over him. And he, him and Peter went toe to toe at Lee. And it's why he got his contract. To be honest with you, he, he was sold out of Bradford on that game because we had eight scouts there. Uh, all comes from there. And then Peachy went at it. And Peachy, to be fair, didn't take a backward step. Peachy, give him it. You know, they were at it. But Ollie played 80 minutes, whereas Peachy got brought off. Ollie just kept going. Going. I think he did 178 metres after the game. He goes, he didn't count his metres then, but he did that day. <laughs> anyway, I've got this. Because I must have said to him, if you get me above 140, I'll get you the best move of your life. And he goes, done. And all I was <laughs> shit. So we literally got the deal done. We were on his field and it changed his, you know, things. But Ollie, what? Right up front back fence. You know, I can remember that the origin on that with Rowan and with Rowan and Mikey. Yeah. And Mikey were on back fence and Rowan was, so they were like, Oh Callum actually got the luckiest thing alive and I was again I have got a guilty of it. Callum come from the beauty. Yeah, yeah. But more or less yeah, told yeah. if he come back he was in. I'm not yeah. saying that as our turn it was. And we know we had Harry, so them two lads really had to probably take Cal- Callum was a big name, wasn't he? We're like, oh yeah. Callum McClellan, he went from Rugby Union and loads of money. So Callum come in, he went way off the Callum were way off. Like that wasn't the Callum in them test matches that I saw before pre before it was just unbelievable. I thought Harry got like were dominating the game and Callum because it was so hard for him, he'd not played rugby league in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can remember like Mikey and saying to me, you know, he's like Mikey, he's like big fucking team anyway, you know what I mean? They probably had, if I'll be honest, they've yeah, probably yeah, made yeah. their minds up. Uh, the emergency Corey Johnson, you could go on all day. Corey, oh, it was like, wow, what was this little kid telling all Holden's what to do with you find it, he went year below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smith is what year below. A bit like what you said, he were like, wow, were they? It was just, they were incredible. We, we famously rang Jack Wells beyond way back. Jimmy did. Said, Jim, uh, found you first, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we famously sat at thingies and Wellsby said, you're not going to believe it. We're like, past him because we, we'd seen him there for the first time and he were like, oh, the fucking hell is that? So, and I know how much, fo- I think they're going to be around the 40 and Langers. Yeah. Not taking away anybody else, but I like the fact they both. Ch- they both had a young vibe. Yeah, yeah. You lot were in that. Uh, we went to meet your, your lads in hotel at Village. Yeah, yeah, I can remember, yeah. And like, Fordy were like, you could just see, you were like, hey, you know, I'll take it piss. And I thought you wanted to love them. Yeah. Because you like, that. yeah, that. you're not getting somebody who's 60 going, hey, lads. They still had a bit of yeah. that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Fordy's like, said it, pulling lads and going, fucking smash them. You know what I mean? And Fordy would do that. You know, and I thought, it, I thought that helped tremendously. Going into your debuts, lads. I win. Yeah, so I made my debut in the Challenge Cup against Workington. Um, I think it was quite a big scoreline. And I played the full 80 at back row. And then I went on to play um, against Wakefield and then Hull KR in the Super League. Were you nervous? No, not really. Um, I kind of just, what will be, what will be. So I just knew I needed to... You've got that type of temperament. I yeah, need to be yeah. fair to you, I'm, thinking about myself. Well, I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah. Quite laid back, so I just knew I just needed to do my job. I'd, I did, I knew I deserved it as well. I, I've been working hard, so I'm thankful that I got that recognition to get my debut. Brilliant, right? See, I was complete opposite. I was absolutely shaking all day. I was playing <laughs> Leeds at Headley Super League debut. I'm driving to the village to meet some of the lads to car share. Pulled into the petrol station, got some petrol, got a, got a Lucas in and that. Pulled out, crashed my car. <laughs> Crashed my car the day of my debut. So I had to ring older lads and be like, I'm gonna be late here, I've crashed my car. On your debut? Yeah, on my debut, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be late here. Anyways, quickly jotted down this lady's uh, like details and stuff, took a few pictures of my car, shot off. 
and I just got there for the bus. So I'm getting there, I'm absolutely drenched in sweat, and I can't even think about the game. I'm thinking about what's my dad going to say, what, <laughs> uh, what, uh, what we're going to do with my car and all this. So I'm sat there on a bench, and I'm still can't think about the game. I think I dropped three balls at one, but I still couldn't think about the game. So it kind of helped in a way, because it took my mind away from rugby. But yeah, it was such a good day, but quite a bad day at the same time. And, uh, and then came on at Edinley. I think I only played about eight minutes. Came on, slipped, slipped on my ass. First, first involvement. I thought, oh, got a south stand. Went, Wee! Oh, oh, welcome to rugby league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, you give people an idea, lads. You're both at clubs where both quite successful. Or just be a top four side. You come into you, you come into the king of the kings. You know, you come into yeah, you came at a good time. Yeah. Right? But is it a bad time or a good? Because you come into that environment and you're looking at who we are peers in first team. So we can build up into why we went to this field in a minute. But why? Remember who were in front of you? How many did you have in front of you? Uh, Huddersfield. No, Leeds. At Leeds. Um, well, I can remember on my debut, I was squad number 33. So um, there was quite a few. I can remember a few younger people like my age and stuff like that. I can remember playing with like Jim Jones Buchanan. Um, I can remember him telling me it. Like speaking about him making his debut before um, I played, I was like, oh, when did you make your debut? It was like, oh, about, uh, yeah, I think July think. 1999. But I was born in October 1999. <laughs> <laughs> I made my debut with him and he'd been playing rugby longer than I'd been alive, like a top standard, um, longer than I'd been alive. Because you, because thinking about it, you, let's say then you'd have had Jonesy, Delaney, Delaney. You might go then with Stevie Ward would have played a bit of back row. Yeah. I'm sure in them days before he played loose, he played a lot of back row. Then you'd have had Mitch A. Church, am I right? What are you about? Um, you remember him? No, Mitch played think. a lot that year, the last two years. So, you, so you're at a big club, what I'm saying is you're at a big club. And you're did, 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 I think Leeds brought Sam Walters in on the back of that one game. Yeah, that, yeah that but he went, that one's in his way then. He, 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 no, he, yeah, that was, um, I think he came in in the pre-season. Yeah, before I, or the back end of the season, and then in the start of the new preseason. Yeah, the point I'm being, you, you, you're at a club. You wanna, you're the top. You, you're very good players in your own age group. You're showing. You've both been representing England, and then you go and you've got to try and get rid of Jamie Jones, yeah, Carl Apple, Apple, Red, Apple, whoever, yeah. whoever. So you, how, how, what, how does that? How as a young kid are you thinking then? I never really saw them as being in front of me. Like, I always saw myself as, like, oh, I'll get my shot and when I get my shot, I want to nail it type of thing. That chill. Um, so, yeah, I never really saw, like... Because I feel like, in a way, if you start say, seeing people that's in front of you and stuff like that, you don't really see them as your teammates as such. Whereas you can easily, like like you say, like, um, Stephen Ward like, was playing back row at the time. If I started seeing him as my competition as such... And, and then he starts moving into back row. Like, you don't really build the relationships as good. Like, I feel like you're in competition yourself, isn't it? Mm, that's great. I like it. Nice. So right. He's opposite. He was yeah. fuck <laughs> 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 you. Yeah. Up, you got yeah. Yeah. Would you have had a big girl in there? Who would be all packed when you were there? Like, Akuma Tai, Sammy Rapira, uh, Shannon Wakeman, Seb, wow. first time round. Yeah. And he was there. Uh, Bruno, oh, plays like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I always thought, a bit opposite to compete, compete, compete. Take yeah. every opportunity as a training day. Compete and show that I can do it. And then when you get your opportunity, just take it with both hands and yeah. pull it back. You, 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 Matty, to be fair to you, you had a reputation coming. Everyone, you know, you were... Oh, everyone would Everyone was saying, Matty's yeah. the next... Everybody, they were like, I can remember it. I'm probably, <laughs> probably as bad as anybody. But you were like saying, this kid's coming, he's going to win first team early. He's, he's, he don't take it back. I mean, you, when I watched uh, you, you were playing like 80 minutes, you were crazy. You were playing long as blinks, I remember, in a prop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never seemed to get tired. And you were like, <laughs> taking, you were like, we're just like this. You take 40 carries, you were like, what? Was, so the pressure on you were as Leeds and another field, maybe not as successful as Leeds at developing. Yeah, time. Definitely. So at the time you were going into the first team, how old were you? 19, 18, 19. That's young for a prop now, isn't it? That's good, you know. Did you feel that pressure that you thought? A little bit, but then I. I kind of backed myself that I was I had the ability to do it and yeah. it was my time to, to take that to stance and, and give it a go, yeah. What about the older ones? I have I've got some stories where I'm 32, I've seen you in training, I've seen you in training, I'm thinking, how long have I got before these take over me, right? And and sometimes I'm gonna get an edge already. You've read the books, lads, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
famously that's my chair so you don't sit there that's things you know make sure that little twat squad number 35 don't give them a lot in training you know they might not give you a lot I had a bit of this Fuck yeah it's come on Mike share a bit come on uh, yeah some of the older boys like I don't know the old school boys were just like just so off with you and like you come <laughs> in and, you would come in and they wouldn't even take morning to you and that it's just like alright this is where I stand <laughs> All right, if you want to be like this I feel like it's just all about building relationships. You just want to you want to share that field that with people that you know is gonna like live and die by you because that's what you want to be doing as your teammates. So, not like, dropping it bad pass and no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not, not one who's getting murder balls and stuff like that. I think it's changed so much, on it? Yeah, I think since yeah, definitely. Me coming through, I remember Danny Bruff played like a, a like a Saints player at the time, chucked it. Straight to the floor, worm burning like that. He absolutely sprayed me in front of everyone. So I'm only about 16, 17. After the session, I went up to him and said, uh, Man, if you just help me, just practice a bit like that. He just went, Fuck off, you fat bastard. And, you know, <laughs> and just left me. And as a 17 year old kid, I just stood there like, All right, no worries. Right, but then in today's game, you, you see it all the time. Like, all, the, all the extras that we do after training is I always take a couple of young lads and we all help each other and like work on what they want to work on. I feel like, um, everyone, especially like younger people and like people who are going into like the senior positions now, like they realise the cycle, so they know that my my times like like Bruno, I can remember, so he he kind of like realised his transition was he needed to start like looking for another club and stuff like that. But he'd always be like working hard and training, helping people out, Amazing. like talk to people, and like it like it's a short career, and you you get a wealth of knowledge throughout your career, and that. You helping other people out, it's only better than you. And you, when you start seeing them and they start doing stuff, you're coaching them out and stuff like that. It's, it, I get it all like that. Yeah, it's 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 it takes, it takes you know, when it's still in your memory, when now you're in that situation where you want to help the young ones, you've got two options, haven't you? Do I do what happened to me because yeah. it's part of the initiation, it's part of the old school, I had to do it, you had to do it, or do you take the more modern approach and go, no, to, to help them settle in and make it yeah. better for the team? And what you said there is what, you know, it should be. Yeah. Well, I, I'd certainly go down that school of thought. You wanted I know, to. You wanted Matty, to. I, don't, I don't mind a bit of Matty's. I think, yeah, I think I want to challenge yeah, but Matty, you but Matty went in there. He, he didn't Nobody's want saying it. every day I want to come on. Yeah, let's but, go. But, but, yeah, I don't yeah, mind yeah. a bit of that. A, absolutely. But there was an element of he was made to feel like you've got to do that yeah, to get in there. Whereas maybe Owen had a different one where it was like, mm. no, come on, we'll help. So obviously a bit of balance. And I do think that certain players should, you know, if you go... Jerry Peacock's boots out of way on his first day at Leeds. He's going to tell you to move. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah. To, to not, if you if you're a young player and you ask a senior player to give me a bit of help with this, to be told to fuck off, you fat bastard. I draw the line at that. Yeah. You know. Well, let me. Ask it, but no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, listen. It, we've heard. I could. We could tell you fifty thousand yeah. stories. Yeah, I've had, we've had six hundred players, so I imagine I've had loads. I've had some horror stories. Which is part of the old initiation and of that we we've got it lucky, you know, twenty years before that they got it. Yeah. <laughs> but Paul, that had been twice as bad. Bruffy yeah. with that had yeah. been yeah. twice as bad. Even the coaches, Owen will probably tell you a few. Do you know have Brian Mack? Yeah, so like I Mack were legendary. Like for for that, you are talking a lot another level, aren't you? Yeah, as, a, as I would do my like transition period, so I'd just um, finished my college work and stuff like that. So I was in the big summer of college era. Um, so that's when I'd start dropping in for the um, first team and stuff like that to make the 13v13 and stuff. So, yeah, I got a, a big eye open up with him, to say the least. We used to get a story in a day with Mac, like, yeah. they'd be like, you know, the, the, the Jamal one, I, I, we were telling it a lot on show, but Jamal Chisholm famously, when he, he's turned up, Mac's gone, right, everybody, and he's in circle, and Jammer's got a, a coat on. It's not a tracksuit, something, it's a coat, like black, bit of sachet, whatever. Max gone. What's that? And he's gone. Look at Jimmy Peake at what tops he got on. He said he's got a thing. He said so. You think you can walk anyway? His punishment was with three of them. Or go and pick the leaves up. Well, the leaves from the tree never stopped. <laughs> so there on there. Fast, <laughs> <wasn't it? laughs> you know, you know the score. <laughs> Jammer's really big win. You don't realise he fucking drops leaves. So it's like leaf dropping, leaf dropping, leaf dropping. So I'm laughing my head off, going, "Wow!" But the. I suppose it's what works for you as well. Some old school, yeah. Danny. Danny and the lads, I would say that era didn't, you know, they were, it was pretty rough, but Danny would have loved that. Like, I can remember Kevin Sinfield telling me one, which I thought were amazing. He said that he, 
debuted at 17. He went on the way on a tour pre-season. And he was rooming with Daryl Powell, who was then a 35-year-old bloke with three kids or two kids. He said, I'm 16-year-old and I'm sat with Daryl Powell. I mean, that wouldn't I'll be allowed to happen now. That would not... You, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes like, Powell, he's done there. Make tease you, and you know, and he's probably sat there. This young kid's going... <laughs> Imagine you'd be sitting in Saint Martin, yeah, with international time. Great Britain, but you've got a bloke who's twenty years old than you, or whatever at the time, and you think we've got no in common. We've got what, what the he's putting Emmerdale Farm on, and Kev's probably thinking, "Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean?" So I, 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 I think it's a bit of bit of everything in it that makes the so yeah. roll four. We can talk about yours first because you. This is my perspective of what we use what. Uh, Got told that a bit about Cruz. I think I'd heard some of whatever that he wasn't happy with this field or or whatever his contract was. Oh yeah, you sort of cruised, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. So we about went that. in and I went in to Leeds and said, look, I felt that Owen wasn't going to get. I I thought I saw we talked about it the opportunity, and I said, oh, I don't know how many games you're going to get here, and you could be. But if I went there, what is field? I feel that like it's a new, fresh start. I think you were a bit shocked at first, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I was shocked to be fair. I can remember like, Kev coming up to me, uh, speaking to me about it, saying like, well, we've got an opportunity here. Obviously, we, we need a nine. And Huddersfield have, have like, pecking, saying uh, that they want you. They said, we've offered Rich other Stoulis, people. Rich to be fair, Richard, yeah. Said, we've offered other people, they've declined it, and they keep coming back to you. And he said, originally, we declined it, but because we're in, like, that much of a True story to that, the, the hooker, um, we feel like we, we're going to, like, give it the opportunity type of thing. It was like, it's completely up to you. If you don't want to sign, then obviously we can't be a part of the swap deals. Um, so he went, I'll, I'll leave it with you, have a think about it. And my initial thought was, if, if I'm getting, if they're giving me the opportunity to be able to leave the club, I'm obviously not going to be, in their um, yeah, I'm not yeah. in the mix really. So I thought, I, like, ideally, obviously, you want to stay in your comforts. Like like I say, I signed, signed for Leeds, came up through the academy, that's all I've really known. So, a bit of me was, do I, do I go or do I just stay in the known? But and then I, I tell you, when you give more money, you said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to the real point. <laughs> I don't fancy it's double trouble, yeah. I'll be there on Monday's <laughs> Yeah, I can remember he, he said that. I, I, I was putting my coat on, going car and then just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went to GTC on Leeds Road to have a look about. But he said, what, what money's on at Leeds? I said, <laughs> 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 I wasn't the first to see you when you walked in as well. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can remember um, you're on the AstroTurf at Leeds Road. You'd always do that, um, you'd do like a shuttle then go into contact yeah, yeah, with yeah. Ollie. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. remember walking around thinking oh, that's a bit, a bit different because obviously like at Leeds it's always the same, like all the science space like MAS and stuff like that where you're conditioning. You can't pass each other day at Leeds. No, no. No. <laughs> Only just in like the games and stuff like that would be the full contact. It, it was like your conditioning would be just like have a straight line running or like turn a, turn a direction running. Um, so it, I enjoyed it to be fair. Like it, like I say, it was very different to what I was used to and I feel like as a player and stuff like that it brought me out of my comfort zone. Definitely. So I was... I was very much used to being out of my comfort zone than say if I'd have stayed there I'd probably only played a couple of games especially in that Covid year after after Covid hit and then when we, when we came back I knew fine well that I think I played like maybe six or seven games um, I'm not too sure but I knew fine well I'd probably played one maybe two maximum because mm-hmm. people my age who was playing at Leeds at the time only got the two games because it was the ones where the they rested a lot and stuff like that. So like I, you I used to weekends. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah, pleased you, at that. You, you could not. I wouldn't say the right. No, I just I felt when, when they did put the, the names together, we put yours. Yours were put in the art. I knew that Rich would come back immediately. Like yeah, like yes. Yeah, so when we knew we had that in our sleeve before, we think. But I, I thought it was a perfect move for you. Perfect move for Cruz, by the way. Yeah. Both parties for me yeah. had the perfect yeah, as result. A, as a swap deal, I feel like it's worked out. It's worked out. We've done yeah, three yeah, yeah. of the last 50 months. I always use yours. Uh, Lewis Johnson, Rob Muller were a fantastic one. Both parties happy as a, happy. As, and I keep saying to clubs, don't think it's bad. It's a fantastic yeah. thing. If you want, if you all want so psychopathic, like, uh, why do you, why do you, what's he got? You know, you're like, no, there's nothing wrong with Travis, he's all right. <laughs> You've got to explain to him that. Listen, there's a player who's got in a position that he's not getting game time for you. This guy's not getting game time. Why don't we swap? Yeah. What salary is he? It's, it's all about it's, opportunity. Literally, yeah. that's how simple it is. 
Only time you get to do it is if you tell them. When I did, when I did Toby's and Jake Wardle's, I did it. Fitzy, I'll tell you, I did it from start to finish, but I asked for both parties to stay out. I just said, let me do this. Because if you get your egos involved, you're both going to say, Wardle's way more than him. Tell me, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. Jake's obviously gone and he's not happy there. Something's happened. Toby's, you know, not, yeah. not feeling happy here. This is simple. Put the wages, both take each other's wages. Do you know what I mean? Let's see what your caps are. It went through lovely. And I can remember yeah. Fitzy like, saying, quite good, yeah. Yeah, Fitzy said you were right, Craig, yeah. just yeah. to back everybody else off and just say, do not let ego was getting involved. Yeah. Every time we do one with coaches, it's a nightmare. Well, uh, why does my English want to come here then? <laughs> I mean, what a question, you know what I mean? I've got a young player who's gone to a club last week. And the vast, the first question is, uh, so why don't you come to one you? That's what I got. How dare I have to? What? What? Is that what you got? Yeah, you got yeah. First, first training session. I'd just, just gone to see Tully to get my kit and stuff like that. And um, Jim pulled me in and was like, "Oh, let's just have a quick chat." So I was like, "Yeah, Sue." So and um, so why, why do you think Huddersfield let you go then? Um, <laughs> Leeds, Leeds let you go. Yeah, then. sorry. Um, uh, yeah, but why do you think they allowed you to come to Huddersfield? I was like. <laughs> How the hell do you answer that? Exactly. It's horrendous, isn't it? And then next one, he got what? Um, right, so if I spoke to Wakefield, whoever, now, what would they say about you? you know, well, probably not fucking good. That's why they're only related to you. Sorry, but every question was... Negative about Nothing it. to do with it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, how about you, like the player, you coach that player to be a top player. Make it about you. Yeah. That guy might be the biggest nut to coach it world, he might be CEO, they might have cat problems, they'll be 50. But don't yeah. put it on a kit to yeah, tell yeah, you because yeah. what they went for in that, and I can tell you 50 of this. If he comes out then and goes, must have got it wrong. Oh, you think a lot about yourself, you yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gone. You're in the shit. Yeah. We yeah, call yeah, it yeah. the shit. The coach is stood there with coaching ego as though he's got, you know, and kid's gone. Oh, you see, you're confident it's an idea. You're thinking, oh, no, he's going to play me again. I'm, I'm, I'm going into another nightmare here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I always tell lads to say as little, uh, it's, it's crazy, it's absolutely crazy, isn't it? Yeah, because you're damned if you do, big yourself will be damned if you don't, because he's going to be like, it oh, is. he's far too confident, oh, he, he, he do not back himself type of thing, so he just, he can't. It's a lose-lose, isn't it? Yeah. That's where McAvoy, back to Liam, you know, got braid off John Bain, a winger. Liam, I took Liam to Leeds and he, he got asked that question of Mac, but Mac had two sides, 12s on table, went back, so Liam said he couldn't see he was trying to look over and he <laughs> said, uh, he went like that and he went, McAvoy, tell me why you turned Leeds down the first time and went to Bradford. <laughs> and he just dropped size 13s and Liam's like looking at Mac, he's shitting his head and he went, eh, I don't know, he was tell me why. <laughs> McAvoy, tell me why I should have you back at this club. Why? Why do you want to come back here? And Liam couldn't think of anything, anything but he said he kept seeing these intimidating boots <laughs> and he was like, and he went, Kevin Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark's gone, what's that got to do with you? Know, first thing I could think of. <laughs> like, you wouldn't do what you'd yeah, be absolutely yeah, terrified. Yeah, you'd be like, what have I said to that? Yeah. To be fair, and Paul were quite thick on that. I don't know if you met Paul, you got coached by Paul Anderson a bit, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, he was nice Paul Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue were quite, yeah. he, he, used to, he had a bit of Brian Mack in him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, you know, he'd yeah, a little things, bit, to like, see how he answered. Yeah, you'd be like, because do you think as a player, do, 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 would you do say what you think your coach wants to hear? You're a bit different, that's yeah, you, maybe, yeah, would yeah. you? Oh, yeah, I would. I would. You would definitely, oh, yeah, would. yeah you would. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. I think Charlie's a bit like... No, I, can, I can remember just saying to him, um, well, obviously it's, it's a very strict regiment at Leeds and stuff like that. I feel like I'm not a strict regiment person. I'm very do you not think he's strict here? Like, <laughs> yeah, well, it was just like, it was just like, all oh, right. Um, fair enough type of thing and just kind of got left at that but yeah I, I didn't really know what to say but I just thought oh, I'll just Let's do what footballers do and say well it's my childhood I've always supported this <laughs> I've always <laughs> been playing do it three times like, really, really, like, like, <laughs> well, how come how come Salford I were always on terraces like me you'd be on Leeds terraces <laughs> <laughs> Zach put a couple 